Welcome back, Internet, to the Type QQ channel as we t tackle the last level of Bloodstained. Stage 8. The, the final episode. Here we go. Wily's Castle. You know how we do. H how do we do? Well, as we're drawing the end of the, uh, um, end of the game, final level here. Trying to step step away from uh, trying to clear out of the way out of these uh, this demon swarm, whether that be like these evil bugs or uh, blood shards. What were they, what were they called in the uh, like vampires were part of soul binders or something like that? I don't know. Who knows what it is? Either way, we do not want to be a part of it. And uh, coming this close is certainly bittersweet. I mean, certainly the opportunity for us to play other runs uh, is certainly available. You know, especially when we, you know, in those early levels came across areas that were like, well, we're going to have to come back here when we beat the game to uh, to find out what's behind here. However, you know, um, as popular as this series has been, pleasantly, as, uh, pleasantly more popular than I suspected, um, I think it's probably best that we... Uh, at least take a break from it from now once we complete this and maybe go back to our uh, you know shoot 'em up roots um, especially with the uh, the summer sale um, in full effect I think it happened maybe uh, yesterday or the day before so um, well I guess there's no way of us getting over there I guess huh so yeah there's gonna be a ton of games on our wish list that are going to be like pennies now, so. Here we are disobeying our cardinal rule of just killing enemies while they're there. Making sure we're surrounded by these sort of bunny succubi. And already our, uh, I was going to complain that, you know, that our whip girl is, uh, pretty low life, except the fact that, you know, just happened to find a quick, uh, health recovery item for her in the wall, but then again, Zenketsu here is also pretty low on life, so the final level is showing uh, just how final it is by beating our two primary characters to uh, a fine paste. I do gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite looking levels with the, the parallaxing scrolls in the back there. It looks like Maybe three, three level, three layers deep, with those blue columns, that sort of the red eaves, and then the, the with the blue um, windows in the back. That was all were very cool. Pretty handy one up, and you know what? We we've said that before. Whereas, like, do you go, you know do you sacrifice one character to get a one up? You know, and, and I think in every case the answer is yes. You know, one life, you know, one character death is just one-fourth of the, uh, of the one-up. So, you know, in essence, you know, even though you're losing, you know, Miriam, which was, you know, who is pretty important. Um, we got three, we, we're up to 13 lives with, you know, at least three more characters. All right, we want to jet up this as quick as possible, and I'm not sure we uh, sacrificed the the right character to do so. Now that we could really use somebody with high jet, but hey, looks like we're going to do it all the same. Ultimately, not doing the worst, just we, you know, you know. I do kind of wish that maybe we kept Miriam and maybe lost somebody else. But the game is taking care of us pretty well with Zenketsu actually uh, nearly full health. Oh, this is certainly going to be uh, yeah, old man, old man fire here. It's just a matter of whether or not we can make it through this sort of toad, toad apocalypse, you know. 
with with mana. Yeah, check out all these moving pillars. Or at least when the, the uh, screen changed. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. And there's one up here as well. So, yeah, final level. Maybe a little harrowing and, you know, maybe a meat grinder of sorts. But the game's taking care of you, you know. Final boss time. This must have been the demon Zenketsu was uh, thinking about the whole time. Oh, just not in the best place to be uh, standing there. But going with the uh, strategy of using Zenketsu's um, almost like a triple attack there. Zenketsu's double damage on the uh, on Gebel, but also by some weird chance using using the, the Ring of Fire as well. So really, triple dipping, triple dipping a double dip. Really making some quick work on the first form. However, you know, I think we're going to find out using all that, ma all that you know, weapon points was a bad, bad idea. You kind of want to take out that first form with just your basic attacks um, as much as possible because you need all your, your weapon attacks to reach the uh, enemy up top here. Second form of the final boss here. You know, the, the weakness and the crux of it is that this, these moon attacks can be destroyed and you can recover your mana in it. However, um, you know, you, you do kind of want to rely on that a little less than, than, you'd, than you'd hope, you know. Maybe you should have killed that other eyeball to... Uh, you know, make another uh, platform so we can jump over that fire attack, but... The pink moons are uh, a bit faster, a bit more unpredictable. But at least we're sitting good at it with our weapon. Our weapon gauge ha at half it, at the very least. So if we can... Yeah, the miserable lollipop attack of this of this character. Jump, ah, uh, just not the range. Maybe we could have hit it with the uh, the ice, but not quite getting the timing right of of these attacks either. Maybe a lucky hit there. Hitting the, hitting the ass with that last one. Oh. Alright, we froze her, but I don't think to any... Yeah. <clears throat> so no, to, to, no, to no regard, unfortunately. I mean, we're looking at, like, maybe, like... A sort of, well, there it is, you know, a sort of what-if scenario. If, if Miriam was still alive, you know, what could she provide to this team? Oh, Jesus, what the hell? Well, we were thinking about maybe, like, going across there to see if there's any secrets or anything, but yeah, we are at no weapon strength, so, you know, what the hell? Just off ourselves, I guess. But, you know, there are one-ups right above that staircase, so... Getting all our peeps back. Miriam does have the uh, the dagger there. And strangely enough, like I still fucked up my uh, my uh, bat form still, but it seems like it doesn't necessarily matter. You know, we were able to uh, find that there's a sort of like hidden floor there, all the same. So, you know, really cradled in the bosom of the game. You know, yeah, sort of like ghost floor there. 
I mean, there is a hole there somewhere, but... No weapon gauge. We're gonna have to fix that. One up. Are you fucking kidding me? We got a construction vehicle, construction a vehicle right outside my fucking house. Jesus fuck. All right. Well, hopefully that doesn't ring true, or doesn't show up on my headphones or my microphone too much. My God. All right. It seems like it's just slowly going down the street instead of parked in front of my place. Not really abiding by our rule of minimizing weapon use. Going to the second form with just two out of 40. But we certainly have Miriam this time. She's just throwing daggers right now. Um, but I suppose what we really should be focusing on instead is um, Albert's um, electric attack. That's going to be I think um, a key attack for this, where we're not necessarily going to be worrying about reach or aim or anything, but just firing that off. So Gebel certainly going to be important, provided we don't squander every opportunity to get this magic up. You know, he's got the perfect attack if we can get the timing right, which we just fail to do. Try not to get hit by this third attack. Third attack comes in the middle. Yeah, that's that's just a little. Yeah, luckily we can get we can get the jump across with the uh, whip attack, but that, that's not really what we're aiming for. Zenketsu hopefully can do a little bit better than the man. Not doing very well. Able to fire one of those off all the same, and it looks like that's exactly what we want. You know, maybe it. I'm not entirely sure of how much damage it is doing, <coughs> but at least it's doing, yeah, three or four hits. Three or four hits where we wouldn't be doing it otherwise. And one thing to keep in mind is that when those spears come down with the eyeballs, they provide lanterns. Um, a good way to get uh, mana. A good way to get mana um, outside of killing those moons is to use Gebel to use uh, to burst those lanterns. As you can tell, when we do with, with Miriam here, we're getting the weapon. If we used Gebel. I mean, that, that sort of boomerang is not a bad idea either. I mean, if we used Gebel, because he only has that one attack with his, or one weapon with his bat form, it's always just going to um, provide um, magic potions. But, he, you know, we have been, done nothing but botch, you know, every maneuver with him this whole fight, so, you know... We can wish in one hand and shit in the other and see what really happens, you know? There we go. And maybe we can even pick up that other one. I'm not sure if that was worth it, but it seemed to go, seemed to go okay. Alright, we got this giant red moon of death coming around. That luckily dodged that and it's its fucking sort of nuclear burst. Maybe shot that off a bit too premature. Yeah, wasted that largely. Finally, seeing some yellows, which is going to, which are going to like, kind of like hang around and watch and let us beat on them. But got enough just to fire this one off. The fight continues, trying not to get hit by this third one. Is it a possibility? There we go. Gebel, cleaning up the, cleaning up the lanterns.
Was that it? Is there another form? Well, Jesus, as, as she explodes, maybe not. Old man comes through in the clutch, huh? And Zenketsu takes the bullet. Zenketsu was astonished by his own actions. For what reason did he do this? He existed to slay demons and take revenge. But the long-lost emotions had been rekindled. However, the time for that has passed, and his consciousness drowned and a bottle of whiskey. I, I was not fast enough to read it. Zenketsu. R.I.P. And so, in order to stop the new Dark Emperor, Zenketsu's allies plunged into battle again. Oh! So Zenketsu is a... He turned rogue. He made the ultimate heel turn. Top 10 anime betrayals they may have to end their allies life but can they st still save his soul so i wonder now this was uh you know a prequel to the other game whether or not this was um this tells that zanketsu is like the evil character in the uh the full-fledged um bloodstained game because um miriam is of course the character of that game so maybe uh maybe we we're playing we we're playing as the the uh the bad we're playing as the villain the whole time very interesting very interesting as we roll through the credits now but yeah that was this is a fun game um, and as I said in previous videos um, I'm not so sure I played any Inti Creates games um, besides this but I think we're going to certainly go through them uh, in due time the Steam sale certainly is going to make that um, become um, an easier task to fulfill. That's for damn sure. Um, but for the time being, I think we are going to go back to um, some good old classic shoot 'em ups, bullet hells, something that really infuriates me. Um, who knows? But this has certainly been. Um, a pleasant surprise and I'm glad um, everyone's been enjoying it as well some of the more popular videos um, as of late has been this which has been great because you know um, 2018 um, was sort of like a rebranding of mine and that I wanted to not just do shmups 24 7 but I did want to mix in a sort of whatever the hell I wanted to do and to kind of play this game to its you know to its credits and um, the videos be somewhat popular for what the channel draws in you know it certainly um, feels good you know producer Iga we know that guy all right guys that's gonna be it for this video don't forget to subscribe Leave a like, leave a comment, do all that stuff, and we'll come back and play some more video games in the future.